NACT Spring Season Stage 3 Qualifiers, the first time we have got to see these teams fight each other this NACT Spring Season. And now, as we are jumping into the match, let us know which way you think it's going to go. Whoa! Trying to find an early pickoff. Chicken. A wise decision staying inside of that tier 1 turret. Turtle will spawn in. Shark best player in Hoon rotating into the pit. Surrounding Loba Zane. Hits him with the Terrify. Milo and Nicolette to even out this party. Cold World to give BTK the numbers. Look at the Turtle. 5% HP. Looks like uh, Zane may be able to claim it. Best player with the Retribution able to get it over him. First Turtle. Going to the Gaiman Gladiators. Look at Zia already revving up. Basic alongside him. Both of them excited to fight this out in the goal lane. Been a minute since these two got to face each other on the pro scene. Chicken on the top side. The GOAT versus Chicken. Two of the hottest prospects in the XP lane. Find it up. And now the four-man rotation on the bot side. Implosion goes down for the setup. Knock up on the way. Ixia. Dealing some damage, a stun on a basic, and Zia will secure the kill. We talked about the synergy and the heavy CC from their team. Climb up against them. They need to find a way to equalize this economy early. As Game Gladiators will take that extra step and have a huge leap if BTK allows it, especially in this early phase. 30 seconds to the gold plating will be off these turrets. Turtle at about 50% HP. Best player in position for the retribution. Zane trying to get there. Hit with the implosion. Shark can set it. Best player will get the turtle. Chicken will find Cold World. Best player finds Moba Zane. That is going to be a two for none trade and a turtle in hands of Game and Gladiators. Getting everything they came for so far. Right now, putting a lot of pressure on to BTK, but on the top side, Basic doing his best to keep this match as even as possible. Strips all the gold plating off of that turret. Needs to get back, though. They are down by 3,000 gold. That suppression, waiting for a good divine judgment. May go in a shark if he overextends a little bit, but best player in position for the contest. Moba Zane, wrapping around. They're going to seize the opportunity. Rosicite goes in from Basic on that strike and the divine judgment to pull him into the turret. Basic will get the kill. Shuts down fried chicken. Can Game of Gladiators respond, though? It looks like they want to get a kill here. We'll be able to proxy off these minions. Basic going to recall back to the base mid lane, though. A lot of pressure. Nicolette dealing some damage on Azia, taking about 50% HP. Right now, though, you are looking at Game and Gladiators controlling the momentum of this game. In position, pulling the aggro alongside Shark. Nicolette joining the battle in the pit. Here comes best player, Hoon. Zia able to get there a little bit faster than Mopa Zane. But here he comes, speaking of the devil. With Cold World, we'll be able to get it with the retribution for BTK. But now, JTC unable to get out of there. Decimation from best player, able to claim the kill. Cold World will find Fried Chicken, though. There's going to be a one-for-one -one trade. BTK able to take the third turtle of the game. But on top side, Zia, with the advantage of the separation, should be able to claim this turret with uh, no gen. Look at Cold World, ready for the Divine Judgment. He's going to have to try and find a way to the back line. Try and find Zia or Hoon if he can, or possibly grab Moba Zane last second. So that best player, um, or not best player, right, so he can grab best player last second so that Moba Zane can get that retribution. Here he goes out, 15% HP. Almost at that 30% mark, going down to 15. Terrify on Emilo, big knockup. Best player with the decimation and the retribution combination. We'll be able to claim this Lord. Four Gaming Gladiator Zia will find Moba Zane. And now BTK has to get out of the Lord pit as quick as possible. They don't want to extend this lead any further into Game and Gladiator's favor. Lord now making his way on the top side. They should be able to open up some of these turrets. You are looking at uh, overall a really good game though for GG. This their top side. Lord still in effect. Conceal play called out from Cold World. Flickers in. Divine Judgment for the suppression. Grabs best player. Giving it their all. Not going to be able to take him down. He sustains himself. It just shows you how far ahead Game and Gladiator's is right now. Up by 5,000 gold. Down goes the tier 2 turret on the top side. I'm surprised. Best player was able to lift through all of that damage. And down goes the tier 2 for the mid lane. And now, stripping down BTK into their inhibitor turrets. Can still play called out. Possible play for a pickoff. Big setup. Zia. Final mobile Zane. Best player takes out Cobra. Milo very low. Basic. We'll find one to respond though. Takes out Shark. Look at Zia. 
Gonna go ahead and do that recall spam. Trying to take this inhibitor turret for the mid lane. Milo, basic for the defense of Nicolette. Not able to stop them. Hoon will be able to claim that turret. Opens up the map for BTK. Nicolette finds the player. Hoon finds Milo. Zia finds basic. Both sides trading blows. Two for four trade, though. As you are looking at Gaming Gladiators leading the way. Only Nicolette by herself. Cold World spotting in time. Trying to defend. They still have minions in play, but they decide to disengage. Gladiators, they were able to take that Luminous Lord, which means they are going to go in for a possible finish. Shark is a key factor for gaming Gladiators with these implosions. Don't group up for BTK if they want to stay in this. Find a way to the back line. If you can get Cold World to get a good Divine Judgment onto Hoon, onto Nicolette, it could be a game changer. But they're going to go in for the Divine Judgment onto Shark. Nicolette will get him. Down goes the Roman for Gaming Gladiators, but a lot of damage on him over Zane. Able to be able to get out of the chase CC. Nick Basic will get a kill as well. Two for two trade. Mobile Zane does fall though. Hoon is able to secure that kill. It's gonna be three to four. Remember standing with numbers going in favor for BTK. They were able to win that trade in terms of the fight to keep him in this game and a good defense to stop this Lord. BTK kind of putting some band-aids on their wounds right now and ready to take the next fight one step at a time. Milo. Gonna go ahead and front line, give some vision. Cold World goes in with the concealed play. They're going in for best player. Divine Judgment may be able to take him down, but Ixia from Zia, massive damage. Finds Milo, gets a double, takes down Cold World. Not the play BTK was looking for, and back to the base they go as Milo and Cold World will fall. And now you are gonna look at both sides, trying to push this in, trying to close out this game. Gaming Gladiators will take the last inhibitor on the top side. Base completely open for the Bloodthirsty Kings. There goes the implosion. Shark with the setup, with the stun. Final slash in. Moba Zane will fall. Best player with the decimation to take him down. Gets a double. Finds basic. And the base crystal will fall, but not before the wipeout. No, they're going in for the kills. I'm just going to let the minions take the base. And that is all she wrote as gaming gladiators able to shut down BTK. In the NACT Spring Season Stage 3 Qualifiers. Man, oh man. All right.